All right, so I wanted to do a quick little video <clears throat> on uh, kind of like summary thoughts on the install for the different accessories I put on. But I first want to start off with the weight of everything that I took off in addition to some um, parts that I didn't use. So this is everything I took off and the weight is it's like 5.1 pounds. So if my memory serves me, I think I um, said all the new accessories was 28.6 or something like that. So what went on the bike was like roughly 20, 23. Anyway, so the, these are all the parts that I took off. Um, so going to the bike, it, uh, it was relatively easy to install pretty much everything except for the hand guards. So this engine guard was um, super straightforward, wasn't difficult at all. All the parts um, that were provided, very, uh, very good, very high quality. This rear, um, whatever, adventure rack thing, that was super easy. Um, pretty impressed with um, SW Motec and their products. The one thing that was um, interesting was that uh, you want to put the, the engine guard on first and then put on the crash bars. Um, it's just that there's a piece that you use from this kit um, to put on here. It's not anything major. You'll you'll figure it out, but I suggest getting both But you do need to if you get both you will need to put the bash or the engine guard on first um, Tighten everything down and then put on the bash guard after that um, So just a little pro tidbit so going to the hand guards and why it was so difficult. So the hand guards come with these uh, bar ends, uh, weighted bar ends, so that's kind of cool. There's a part right here, a spacer that I um, I use. They offer different spacers and different ways of connecting this part. Um, this is the bracket right here. And so this is what happened basically. If you see this bracket and how tightly it sits against the brake reservoir right here. What it does, it, it torques this reservoir slightly this way, okay? Like that, because that tolerance is super tight. So that's not a big deal in the sense of like, it, it can still tighten up here fine, but what happened is if you look at right there this is the starter switch assembly that part was pressing against this i'm going to call it the barrel of the front brake lever that was binding up right right there and it was actually preventing it from from breaking easily and then returning to its um, whatever unengaged position, right? So I, um, you have to loosen everything up, including this assembly. And I dremeled that little section. You can see it right there. I dremeled that little section on the starter assembly or whatever starter switch, and that allowed enough room to do that. So that's kind of somewhat delicate and precise. You have to you know, get a Dremel in like this angle, it's not that great. And so I had to loosen everything several times and tighten it up. And I realized it all has to go in a certain order. And, and then the hut, the different, you know, angle of the lever had to be right. So it just, it, it was very tedious. Additionally, to get this loose, this starter loose, this assembly loose, um, in order to Dremel that and separate these two so you have enough room to Dremel it. The angle of this Torx um, nut 
is just very difficult with the tool that I had. And you won't, you'll probably have to use the same tool. It's just an L Allen wrench type tool, but with a Torx at the end. And to get that angle is just somewhat difficult when you're tightening it. To loosen it, it's not that difficult, but to tighten it, it's it just like you're doing an eighth of a turn. And each time you're trying to find that right angle to stick it in there, and it's just it just took forever. It was kind of frustrating. You're standing on your feet. Uh, not that that's a big deal, but it just it just cumbersome and very tedious. The other thing is that the 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 angle of this right here, up and down, is somewhat um, determined by the left side. And so the left side. Um, The left side is limited by this right here. So I can't bring this any higher, okay? Because of this and the way that everything's set up. So that kind of dictates, like I like the lever at a certain angle here. That di dictates how high this handguard is. And unless you want two different handguards at different heights, which I don't want, then it, it it limits this height. And I say that because there's really nothing stopping this right side from going higher, right? However, again, if you want to match the left side, you have to kind of bring it low. And so I say that because it it offers just slightly less wind protection above, above your hand. Now, the purpose of this Handguard is to protect the levers. I think that's the first and primary pr purpose. The second is during your, you know, obviously that's during a crash or dropping the bike, but it's also to protect, you know, things hitting it and protecting your hands. And then lastly, I think it's, you know, wind protection for your hands or when you're riding in the rain or whatever. So overall, it's way better than OEM, like 100% better. Um, whether it's as good as like, bark busters or whatever it seems to be the defecto uh standard um i have no idea i've never had bark busters but they seem to be pretty bomber and everyone goes with that um so anyways overall assembly was super e easy except for that last uh last part with the handguard and then um the quality fit and finish i think is is really good in terms of protection it seems to protect a lot more and honestly i wrote it for um a short period and I kind of for whatever reason that it seemed a slightly heavier in the bottom and I kind of like that um, obviously it added whatever 23 pounds but I kind of like that feel of like a lower center of gravity I, I'm not sure if that's just my like mind playing tricks on me but it felt like slightly lower a lower um, mass and that was actually uh, kind of good the other thing and I, I'll have to test it today I want to say I felt less heat so I don't know if it just dissipates heat better or whatever, but there's a lot of ventilation here. And uh, I want to say I felt like less heat on my right leg and both legs in general. So uh, that would be a huge plus if that's um, if that's the case. Anyways, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll post this. And um, if you have any questions, just hit me up on the comments.